Hi Power Users, Vinny Pukowski here. Today we will be talking about deep linking. We will uncover what deep linking does, or how to implement this process. We will create the simplest app using deep linking concept. And without further ado, let's go to the business. So I have an application, it's called Board Games with today's date, and we'll it consider consists of two screens. First is the landing screen. As you can see, the, I've created the label no deep linking. This will indicate that there was no deep linking involved in moving to our to this screen. And the details screen. Which screen will show us the order name, country and number, depending on the parameter we will provide inside the link. So what this process is all about? If we have our link, let's create the the easiest link. Let's cut, for example, this part. This is standard link to our application. It consists of a GUID, end of tenant ID, and tenant GUID. So if I press this enter button, and this link will be uh, will be executed. Then uh, I've opened my application. Of course, I have need to have, uh, authorization to access this application, but this will open standard link to our application. But if I use the specified parameter inside this link, for example, here, this will provide me different behavior based on what I've coded in our Canvas app, and also will, will move us to specific order number. So let's go to business. First of all, let's see how this is done without even deep linking. I have a button here which set variable order. And I look up orders and set order to a specific hard-coded GUID just to secure those informations. So this was already, already pressed. What happens then is the variable order, which have records from our orders, give us order name, country and its name, and order number. And now, what I want to do here is to, on, on start of our application, to set this variable order to specific order I want, I, the one I want to provide in the link, and also to navigate us to the details screen. So, what I have to do, you have the app icon in top left corner of your tree view, and this app, oh, sorry, spoiler alert. And in this app, I have function on start. This function will provide us with specific behavior, specific uh, functions we want to execute on the start of our application. So first of all, I want to set a new variable. And I want to set it to parameters. The parameters are, is a standard function of Power Apps. Inside the param, I will provide the string. And if uh, this string is the left side of our parameters, let me go quickly to parameters, to our order number. This is the string. This is the left side of our equation. So I provide the name of this, uh, these parameters. Let control C. Parameter string is in the double quote. And I can set it to order parameter. But, but I'm still missing one, one uh, additional function, which is GUID. GUID will secure me the data type of this variable. St uh, because for now, without the GUID, this is text. And I want to change it to the GUID, to keep the, the GUID of my order. Because I have here the, or, the table orders, 
in which I have the, the order, which is standard GUID. This is standard GUID number. I have already a couple of records created. So I want the, this to have the same the data type as, uh, as I have in the unique key number, which is GUID. And what I want to do now with this variable is to secure the situation that uh, the user provides this variable. How to secure this? When I have the link created, Power Apps will, will check if the param order number is present. It will then set the var param order number to this value. But if it's not present, then the value of var param order number will be, of course, blank. So I want to secure that if this value is not blank, so the value is provided, I want to do certain specific uh, things. First of all, I want to set my var order, which was which, we, which is the record created here by the push of the button, but we can set this again in our navigation. So I want to set this var order to a specific GUID that was provided. So I have to look up, look up the table orders. This is the table orders. So I want to look up Let's say this was, was the quit I want to look up for this specific record. So I go with the lookup orders. I already have uh, this data source in my application. Remember to add the data source uh, or this uh, highlighted as an error. I have the lookup orders and I want to specify that the order, which is GUID type, you can see this. Uh, when um, we are highlighting the equation. Uh, so these th types cannot be provided GUID and error because I have nothing here. As you can see, the left side is GUID. So uh, I want to set this GUID to, uh, equals, of course, var param order number, this thing. And if this GUID is found, then the variable uh, order will be set to this, this specific GUID. So this is the part when we are setting the variable. So I have, I can uh, just use the semicolon to to create the second part of our if function, which will be the navigation to to screen two. Screen two is detail screen. So this function should work already. And this is the simplest deep linking process we can, we can do. So let's save it. Let's publish. And let's check it. Here is the basic link of our, from our application. I can also show you where to check for, uh, for the application ID and number. You, you can go to apps or if you are in solution, you, you have the app there. Go to the details and this is our web link. So this is the standard link of our application. Let's grab it. No deep linking was involved. We are la landing on the, the standard landing screen. If I add a specific uh, order number, then we can go here to the order number. This is order number 42. And let's check the GUID. The GUID was, was like this. It is the same GUID layer laying down here. If I take the GUID from, uh, from now, I should see the order number one and without the country involved. So let's copy it. 
the order number is one, no country was involved, this is working. So how do you, how can we also create this link? Because, you know, we can use this link, but we, we don't want to uh, hard code the value. We can create this link also in our application just by using, uh, by using concatenation function. Let's create our label. We will grab our standard thing. This is our standard link. And we can concatenate this with, let's look up, orders, var, order, sorry, order is equal to var, order, order. We want to grab the the order from here. And we want to, yeah, we already have the link created, but we also want to have specific syntax considered in this solution. So let's open the string double quotes. Let's go with the order number equals let's close the double quote finish the link so the link is created let's control sorry what i'm doing Let's grab this link from our application. And let's open it here. And as you see, it's working. So we can create a link inside your application when you have your data, because we have for example, you have your main object, you have your application, your request, etc. And based on this, you want to create the link, like I've created it. And you want to send this link to, a, the, to the specific person. So you can do everything you want with this link. You can start Power Automate flow inside of Power Apps, which will also move this link as an attribute as well. Or you can create this link inside your Power Automate to, to send specific emails with this link. The freedom is wide with this topic, let's say. And, and in the next videos, I will um, probably create uh, some specific approval process using this uh, deep linking concept. Also, you can check in the description. I have already created the approval application app using deep linking a specified process in uh, uh, in only in canvas the, with the the help of what power automate flow and what else uh, you can depending on the time you created this application this uh, your application you have uh, you may have the app on start highlighting navigate as an error this is possible and it means that you should move the navigation part to another place of the app, this uh, app starting screen. I will talk about this concept later on in the next video. So if you have highlight, highlighting that uh, the navigation part, then it's, uh, you, you will need to help deal with one more additional step. But for now, if it's working great, if it's not, then look at my next video. Uh, about deep linking. See you soon. If this was uh, helpful, then you can subscribe, like, etc. If if not, then well, <laughs> have a good day anyway. I I hope you you uh, at least somewhat enjoyed this this video and it's helpful. So.
See you soon with Nyapukovsky Outbikes.